my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection blog. Roll the intro! Ah! going on guys I cannot believe it is October already it's witching season ah! yay I love this time of year I feel like with COVID the year just kind of got away from me it doesn't feel like the year should be coming to an end yet but it absolutely is and it's just unbelievable it has been an amazing year regardless of the fact that things have been so crazy I mean much like in the story of the Wizard of Oz we are never the same person on the other end of the journey and I feel like a lot of us have experienced that reality in dealing with COVID and <sighs> you guys are amazing. Thank you for sticking with this. Anyway, on to Oz. So what is new and exciting? Well, a lot of things. First of all, if you guys haven't already heard, we are going to be doing a new show called Oz Talk. This is going to be hosted by Ryan Jay. It's also going to feature other Oz enthusiasts me as well, talking about all kinds of Oz topics, and you can find that on the International Wizard of Oz Club. It's going to be public at first, and then it will be an Oz Club exclusive. So if you are not already a member, head over to ozclub.org and sign up. It is super inexpensive, and the perks are amazing. Get involved, you'll love it. So what is new? A um, Couple things. Let's talk Return to Oz merch. So for those of you who didn't catch the live watch along of Return to Oz at the To Oz event about a month ago, I got a bowl box of all kinds of fun Return to Oz merch that I think you'll really enjoy, so check it out. So one of the things that was included in this box was the little golden book version of Dorothy Saves the Emerald City. They made a couple of these, but this one is Dorothy's basically Return to the Emerald City. It's really cute. They're illustrated, and they're, they were little advertisements for the movie, and it's just really cute. I wish they had done you know, I wish there were more merge, obviously, but the fact that this stuff exists is really cool. This box also included Dorothy in the Ornament Room book that Disney released, and this super amazing graphic novel version of the movie, which is so cool. I had never seen this before in person. I'd seen pictures of it online, and, oh, hey, Lexi, and it's just really neat. It's cool to see these scenes depicted as illustrations and of course we're all very familiar with these stories but it's really neat to see them drawn out like this illustrated they obviously put a lot of work into this and it's just so cool I really like it as a fan of graphic novels I was really excited to get it you guys know how I feel about Return to Oz merch. It's kind of hard to come by. So when you see it, and especially this box that I got on eBay was $13 for all of this merch. When you see deals like that, snap them up. They're super cool. I've also found another way to display my 1960s talking glove for the Off to See the Wizard series. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. I've never seen them before, but check this out. A wooden hand which you can use to like display gloves and things in stores. I had to get a children's one, but look at how nicely this holds the shape. I don't know about you guys, but for me, one of the things that distressed me about displaying this in an upright position was that the heads would like lop over and it wouldn't hold its shape. And because it's got the voice box kind of in the back of the glove over here, it's really hard to display on a stand. So I went ahead and I found these wooden hands which you can manipulate the shape of. And it's really cute and effective way to display it so that worked out well. Also wanted to touch on the Ozmite pin that was recently released by Ruckus Tees. Now these were originally released for the original Wizard of Oz fan club and I believe these were released in 1921 if you guys can see that. But Ruckus Tees went ahead and reproduced these. Now on the front here it does have a replica of the 
card that you got with that. And then underneath here in this bag is the pin itself. And then on the back it does have Rutgers Tees, that it's a, a reproduction. So I have one issue with this pin. There's nothing on it marking it that I can see, and I could be wrong, but there's nothing on here that I can see that distinguishes this from the original Osmite pin that was released. So please guys, when you're going out and looking, if you're looking for an original one, be super careful because now that these have hit the market, I have a feeling that some people may try to scam people out of money by saying these were originals and it's really hard to tell. So please be careful when you're out there. As a reproduction, it's beautiful. One thing that might distinguish it is the type of pin itself. It's made to look aged, but obviously this doesn't look aged. So you just gotta be really careful. Keep your eyes on whether people are trying to age them up Make sure you get some sort of, I mean, I don't even know how you would verify. If I could give any feedback to Ruckus Tees, I would really love to see them put some sort of distinguishing mark on these to separate them from the old ones because it's gonna be really hard to tell if somebody takes this out of the bag and gets rid of this card that has the replica thing on the back to tell the difference. So guys, be wary if you're out there on auction sites looking for an original because there are a bunch of new ones that look just like them. My friend Rob also brought me this really adorable cookbook. I'm actually gonna see him in a few minutes. He and his mom always find these adorable little things for me and I just love them. But the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the 1939 set of Valentines that they released for the release of the film. I have been working on collecting all of them for about six years now and I'm halfway there. There are 12 all together and I've got six so far. So uh, by that math, in another six years we'll have them all. I wanted to share with you guys which ones I have so far. So, so far we've obtained this one with the scarecrow. I'm glad I found you. Dear Valentine, I wish I had a brain so I could think of you. And then this one in here also is the one with the Tin Man. Come with me and be my Valentine. Aw, isn't that cute? And then this one is a little bit bigger, and this one is Oz in love with you, with all three. And then the last one I just got, I got these two together. This one with Glinda, be mine. I wish you would be my Valentine. And come with me down the yellow brick road and be my Valentine. And this one, of course, features the Tin Man and the Scarecrow. So yeah, these were all released in 1939. And they're super cute. It's, you know, it's amazing that these paper products survived. And not only that, but some of these don't even have any writing on them. So that's really amazing. Imagine as a kid, like, saving these types of things. I wouldn't have. I feel very blessed that they still exist. And that is going to be it for today. I know this one was kind of short. Guys, keep hanging in there. Keep wearing your masks. Keep using your hand sanitizer. Wash your hands as much as you can. Socially distance. Don't gather in large groups. Keep being safe. We can get through this. My daughter just started school again. She's in the hybrid program. It's certainly a struggle, but we're getting through. Whatever you guys have to do to end this pandemic, do your part. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. I have a TikTok, but I really don't know what it's for. And don't forget to check out Oz Talk, which is coming up through the International Wizard of Oz Club. Ryan J will be hosting. It's gonna be kind of like The View, but for Oz, it's gonna be super fun. We're gonna be talking about lots of fun Oz-related topics with other Oz fans and experts. It's gonna be super cool. So don't forget to check that out. If you're not already a member of the International Wizard of Oz Club, what are you doing? Head over to OzClub organ sign up do it thank you so much for joining us it's always a pleasure to see you guys be well and i will talk to you soon Mwah. bye addendum <laughs> my friend rob just left and he's amazing we always have such a good time and he brought me an oz present because of course he did because that's kind of how he does things he and his mom are always on the prowl for oz stuff they're big judy garland fans too and they saw this and grabbed it for me and i thank you so much rob and jane you're the best Mwah. They found me a copy of Memories of a Munchkin, which is the book that Meinhard Robbie wrote about his experiences as a performer and specifically about his experiences playing the Munchkin Corner. The foreword is by Mickey Rooney, and I'm really excited to read it. This book is out of print, and I'm really excited to read it. Thank you so much, Rob and Jane. I love you. You guys are the best. Good night.